so much about my father's words that he was born in Cuba and he will die in Cuba. Quite unexpectedly and much too quickly we left. Life in the United States didn't turn out to be like those movies Carlos and I used to watch. And I'm thinking of a movie in particular. <laughs> On to me. <laughs> when Carlos and I saw that movie, we knew we had seen my future. <laughs> but the only thing my sister and Auntie Main had in common was the fact that they were both alcoholics. <laughs> The mansion in the picture, that was a funeral home two blocks away from where she lives, which is this project right here. No, life in the United States turned out to be more like a bad version of a streetcar named Desire <laughs> without Marlon Brando. <laughs> My whole family playing Stella. <laughs> Me and Blanche. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And the United States, a Stanley Kowalski. I've <laughs> been here in this country for three years, and I haven't met one American yet. <laughs> Nor have I learned a word of English. Yes, I'm speaking to you in Spanish. But somehow, you're able to understand what's in my heart. <laughs> I was going to tell my sister, I was going to tell her that awful, awful night when we arrived. I was going to tell her something mean and cruel and nasty when I get into character. I was going to tell her something horrible that would hurt her, like, how can you live in a place like this? This place is a dump. <laughs> But I chose to be nice and sweet, so I just said, what a beautiful apartment. All it needs is a fish tank. <laughs> the next morning, my sister woke me up really early, and she said, come on, we're going to get you a fish tank. <laughs> I was so excited. I got into the car. I was so, so happy. I was willing to ignore how cold and hard and ugly and dirty both don't seem to be. We got into the car, we drove about a block away. <laughs> then she told her husband to stop the car, which he did. Then she turned around, she looked at me, and she told me how sorry, how mad, how ashamed she was she had brought a little faggot into this country. I pretended I didn't understand the word faggot. I mean, as far as I was concerned, she was telling me I was or more, something else. So I keep a stupid smile on my face. <laughs> I do. Then, here's what you have to do. Then they drove the car around the block. And they dropped me off here. On the front steps. I had to tell my parents that the stores were out of fish tanks because I couldn't tell them, you know, her words. I couldn't bring myself to repeat that. Oh, I felt so afraid of change. Me down the street to the park. But then my sister apologized and stopped drinking and became my best friend. Twenty years later. <laughs> <laughs> but right now... <laughs> right now, here I am. My mother tries to help as much as she can. She goes around telling anybody who wants to listen. Mi hijo es muy especial, es diferente. <laughs> Things like, my son is very special, he's sensitive, that living in Cuba totally traumatized me. <laughs> that I was perfectly normal until the day we left. Despite my little weaknesses, boys are my passion. And besides, looking straight, it's only 50% illusion. <laughs> I better be careful or I'll end up like Blanche in some mental institution or something like that. If only I wasn't so alone here, if I had a friend like my friend Carlos in Cuba. He was such a... Oh, there's that bolero again. I have to stop that.
This is the only thing that helps to stop a bolero. <laughs> Night nice quill, huh? Have you ever had a bolero cut in your head? Of course you have it. Mmm, so sweet. But it stops a bolero. Don't worry, I'm not going to pass out or fall asleep or anything on you. What is my limit? <laughs> Now, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I was talking about my friend Carlos. But all I have left of Carlos are a bunch of letters, yellowing with antiquity. <laughs> letters which are full of lies because they are answered to my letters, which themselves are a bunch of lies. Here we go. They come to. My dear, 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 dear Enrique, I am so happy all your dreams are coming true and that soon you'll be in the movies singing boleros. <laughs> I can't believe your luck. Imagine bumping into Elizabeth Taylor outside your home. <laughs> Thank you for telling her all about how much I like her movies <laughs> and everything about me. If I ever get out of Cuba, you have to introduce her to me now that she's your best friend. <laughs>